What is up the world? There are random pressure plates here. It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. I hope you guys are having a good day. You know, it's getting uh, closer to Christmas. And so there's no Christmas decorations. Well, that's not true. Zombie Cleo. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Zombie Cleo did some Christmas decorating over at the new Hermiton. But other than that, there really isn't any Christmas decorations going on. And uh, that's a problem. That is a big problem. So I spent some time over at uh, the Leaf Farm, Zoom Voids. Uh, I think he he intended it for it to be a tree farm. But, um, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just an innovator. I'm just an innovator, man. So I was using it as a leaf farm. But um, so I got a bunch of leaves. And uh, I grabbed some spruce leaves, too, and I was trying those out real quick, but um, they weren't what we were looking for. For, I didn't even say what we're doing. So we're going to build a Christmas tree. It's going to be the best. And uh, there's going to be redstone. So, oh, that was a thing. There was a sign thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so stuff and things are going really good. We only got a few days left till Christmas, and I got a lot of stuff going on. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and I will be on a plane... Uh, enjoying the miracle of flight and uh, taking part in it as well. I will, I will be flying um, to Maine, which is where I grew up. And uh, that's uh, for people outside of the United States. Um, it is the northeasternmost part of the United States. Um, and it is where there is significantly more nothing than a majority of the other states. Does that make sense? Probably not. So anyway, it's very rural. Where I grew up is very rural. Um, there's not a lot going on out there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going back there for Christmas and I'm going to have um, a week off. So I'm actually, I don't want to break the fourth wall for you, but <laughs> I'm going to. Um, we're uh, I'm making a lot of videos ahead of time because I'm going to be gone for a week. Oh, I redesigned this. Did I show you guys that? I redesigned this to look just like the quick drop that we have down to the mine. And I, somebody had mentioned to put a pressure plate here, so I did. Bam! And it uh, works good. And it matches the kind of the theme thing. I got some feedback on the stairway. Oh, what's this? I will see that. I got some feedback on the stairway. Some people said, um, I love it. Some people, actually, very few people said I love it. More people said change it. Um, and I think we're gonna change it. For now, it is what it is. And one of the reasons, one of the benefits of it right now is I can come out of here and I'm down in here instantly. Um, so I thought about doing a lot of other things, but I don't know, we're not gonna do that right now. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Thanks for the loan, I'm no longer in need of diamonds, so I'm paying you back. Thanks, Hypno. Yeah, I gave Hypno some diamonds, cause he was, he wasn't, uh, he didn't have any. <laughs> That's pretty much why. And uh, so yeah, he gave me some diamonds back. Four, eight, 12. He gave me extra block of high. <laughs> so uh cool thanks hypno he gave me extra diamonds how many is this nine? Oh man well, we gotta save the block of high that can't be something that like that's like too epic too epic we'll stick it right here and then there's 16 diamonds back so we have a full stack of diamonds and 48 diamond ore all right so we need some oak wood we need the leaves we're gonna stick some of these i don't think i don't know how many we're gonna need i will bring those uh we don't need We'll need shears, actually. That's not true. We'll need shears. We don't need signs. We got to get our inventory cleaned out for this because I need redstone for this, too. So, um, let's see here. Let's get 54 redstones. Perfect. We'll need some repeaters. We'll need a bunch of stuff. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and get all the things that we need, all the stuff and things that we need, and I'll meet you over at New Hermiton. All right. So I lied a little bit, but I got all the stuff that, well, some of the stuff that we need here. I want to need some item frames, some redstone lamps, got a bunch of repeaters. Oh, I'll need redstone torches. I only need a couple, but whatever. Um, and then we're going to need some ornaments. And I was thinking about using my single player world, I used like gold blocks, diamond blocks, and stuff like that. I really don't have, um, I really don't have the inventory to do that. So I thought we'd just use colored wool, which means we need to head over to um, Joe Hills's wool farm. So now we go back to to New Hermiton. So we're gonna head up there. But something else I want to talk about, a lot of people are talking about it right now, um, is the the copyright issues that have been going on. Um, with the, it's funny, they people are calling it like the new system that YouTube is using 
for copyrights, but it really is like the old system <laughs> that kind of was a pain in the butt that they changed um, for people who are partnered, especially. Um, and some people were really worried about like my intros and stuff like that. So I wanted to tell you guys not to worry. Um, one of the things that I used to be partnered with AdSense. I'm partnered with full screen right now and I'm going to be, um, I will not be renewing my contract with full screen. Um, because, um, partner organizations are, unless you're a large channel, um, pretty much they're worthless um they don't really do anything for you so um i joined full screen in order to stop uh to get easier monetization but now it's really not an op oh well there's a gas stuck in a wall somewhere you hear so he can see through the wall when the gas is stuck in the wall it's uh oh duh! get out of the way homie oh come on double homies move no 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 <sighs> friggin homies um so when I joined full screen, it was for faster monetization, but it doesn't really matter anymore. And they take a large portion. It's a large portion. I have a bad contract. They took a large portion of my revenue. So we don't want that to happen anymore. Um, so I'll be leaving over there. But as far as the copyright goes, um, I own licensing to all of the things that I use. And I don't use anything that I don't own the licensing to or have permission, um, documented permission from the owner of the content. So like for instance, I use and I've put in my videos a few times that I use Wooly Creepers music. Um, and Wooly's a, like a good friend of mine. He, he's, I mean, I love Wooly. He's one of my best, my best internet buds. But um, even with Wooly, who's one of my best internet buds, I asked him to send me written documentation that I have the rights to use his his media in my videos um, so that I have it. So I have that and I can use it with YouTube um, if they ask me for it. And um, so that doesn't necessarily mean as far as the copyright issues that people are seeing, just because I have documentation doesn't mean everything will be fine, but it's the best that you can do. <laughs> it really is like the best uh, that you can hope for. So I have documentation for all my intros. I have, let me see. What do we want? Two, three, four, five. We'll just take five of these colors. We want this one. We want... What other one do we want? We don't want white. Do we want purple? Blue? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for a more... Two, three, four, five. We're not going to need five of all of these, but... Yeah. So, um, as far as documentation or... Um, worrying about my copyrights or stuff like that, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, it's good. I'll be fine. And I haven't had any problems so far. Fingers crossed. OMGs, fingers crossed. Um, I haven't had no problems with any sort of anything. Um, and I haven't had any flags. Now, some people, you guys might have seen, uh, Doc M had some, some trouble. Um, and when I used more music in my videos, um, I had more problems. It's one of the reasons why I used to use a lot more music and I used to use, um, well, I used to use, I use a lot of incomtech.com, uh, which is Kevin McLeod music. And um, I actually backed off. I backed off a little bit um, on using it because it seems to possibly create issues with your videos, even though that, and this is really the problem that YouTube's, new process has and there it's a big problem but um the problem is that your videos can be flagged for copyrighted material when it's you know creative commons arbitration 3 completely your prerogative to use and it should never get flagged so that's bs but it's the way it is um but yeah so so far so good everything's been good and um i am going to be doing some making some changes to um, the emblem that I use. I use an emblem. You can see it on my channel page. Um, and it's basically an upside down Superman symbol. If you, if you didn't notice, I don't want to break the fourth wall again for you and let you in on all my secrets. But, uh, if you didn't know, it's an upside down Superman symbol, but I want to change it. Um, and it's because that I can't call that my own. I didn't create it and it's not, it's not mine. So I really shouldn't be using it on YouTube. Um, the sad part is, is I've been using that emblem as a logo for my online persona, I guess you could say, um, since I, for about 20 years. So, um, it's going to be really weird to get a new logo, but I found someone on YouTube, someone no one really knows about. Um, and I am contracting this person to build me a new emblem. So that'll be really cool. And we're going to talk about it more and we'll do a release and, uh, 
there's some other stuff and things that are going to happen. I'm going to um, kind of change an intro logo and I'm going to set some stuff up for permanent, like my intros and outros um, are going to change a little bit. Um, this is awesome. This new uh, hallway that Suzuma built, so cool. I love how you put redstone blocks behind there. Very cool. Let's punch one. Bam. So, all right. Now we got to figure out a place to put. Oh, it's raining. We got to figure out a place to put this thing. So we're going to sleep and then we're going to look around for a place to put our Christmas tree. So I think I found what we're going to be doing. And I was out here. This is the bridge. I love this bridge that Suzuma built. And it go, there's the tunnel behind the ender portal, and it comes over into this area. And then uh, over into here is Spumwax's uh, epic tree farm thing. I haven't played around with it yet, but I'm going to go up there and see what's up uh, in a little bit. And uh, this is the Abba Caving Tournament uh, board assignments. So Red Eyes and Skizzles, Cleo and Corrales, Pungents and Slipgator. Pungents, you go down. You're so in so much trouble. Uh, TFC and Biffa. Joe Hills and DMAC, Juicer and Desass and Unhost and Hypnos, Suzuma and Spumwax. Uh, and uh, Suzuma made potions for everybody. So epic. So awesome. Um, and then out here also, there's a new uh, build. I don't think Suzuma showed it off yet. Secret thing. You may have seen it in his last tutorial, but I couldn't find anywhere in town to build it. And then out here, every spot was like taken. We're really expanding. So that's good. That's great that we're expanding the town. So I thought over in this area, I kind of noticed over here was a big hole and I kind of filled it in. So I think this is what we're going to do. This is where we're going to do it. Um, so right there, does that look perfect? It's not going to be perfect. Perfect would have been in the town, but oh, well. So we're going to need to build a little bit of a room underneath here. Not too tough to do with Mr. Shovel. This may be too big of a room to be honest with you, but uh, oh well. You'd never, it always pays to over room. If you need room, more room's better. So, um, yeah, so I think I had mentioned I'm flying home to where I grew up in, in northeastern United States in the state of Maine. And uh, I'm gonna be spending a week there and I'm not gonna be doing anything. I'm not gonna be doing any YouTubing. I'm not gonna be doing, well, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna be doing any YouTubing, um, which is gonna be amazing. Like, I kind of live on YouTube, so to not, to not do any YouTube is going to be kind of intense. Oh, oh yeah, I've got everything here in my ender thingy. So let's go ahead and get this going. So I'm going to go one of these, one of those, and we're just going to use a single, uh, a single wide tree for this, and then we're going to get our torches, and then what we're going to do is build a, just a little torch stack here. And then we'll need to build some scaffolding on the side. So like this and like, no, like this, like this. So upwards in this way is how we're going to run our power. And it'll all be covered by the, uh, by the leaves and stuff. And then we'll set something up down below. Nope. We're going to set up a timer. I can do it. Ugh, maybe I can't. I did it. We're set up a timer down below. And let me just kind of see how tall this is. I don't want it to be too big. We want it to be tasteful. Tastefully sized. That ain't big enough. I mean, close to big enough. So, all right, I'll kind of show you how the torch stack's going to work. So, we'll come down into here, into here, like one of them, like that. And we should be able to hump humpy dome. One of those, one of those, like so. And what I'm going to do down here is I am just going to use regular old redstone. Now, this, I can't remember how reliable this. Wait, did I? I didn't put any redstone in here. Slip. So we have a new tree topper already. So I did some design work, and I probably bring you guys back. Dmax, our tree topper, looking up there, just hanging out. So I started building from the top, and I realized that that was a terrible idea. Uh, and so, oh my gosh, the Ender girls are having their way with this area, and my OCD is going. A P E. 
Uh, it's going ape. So I think we're going to build from the bottom instead of from the top. And it's tough to kind of get a... Ugh, I wish they'd get fix that head jerk. It's tough to kind of get a perspective. So I've been kind of popping up here. So I think that this is going to be a good size. I might go one bigger than this. So right now it's six. I think we can go seven. Um, so we can go out one more than this. So let's go ahead and shear these guys down. I'll tell you what, I did this before last year and it's funny because it's not as easy. I think that a lot of times that organic things are way harder to build in Minecraft. Um, especially when like, I don't have as much trouble with like a tree root or something like that because it's fairly random and random is good, but this is like, it's mixing the organic with geometry, which is, wh is what really kind of frigs me up a little bit. So, um, but yeah, we did it last year. I know, I know, you know, pretty much, I know, I know what's going to happen. I know what we're going to do. Um, but so the tough part also is getting the wiring inside. Once you get everything built actually takes quite a while. Um, or it took me quite a while last time, but I think it'll be good. I think we got something that's a little bit better there. Let's go ahead and head up. Just kind of get an idea of the shape again. So yeah, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Wow. I'm getting a little bit of lag. So, oh, also great. Sweet. Stuck. Um, all right, so like this, and then what you do is just like so, go up in the diagonal, like this, this, and oh, I hope I have enough leaves. I've already used quite a bit, huh? So like that, and then if you go too deep, like so, it kind of offers the tree a little bit of thickness because the leaves are, are see-through. So this way, if you make it too thick, not only does it kind of give the leaves some depth, but then it also makes it easier for you to build on. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna get this thing going all the way to the top and we'll kind of see what it looks like from there. All right, so here's our tree and it looks pretty good. Let's do, oh, oh what, what, what? Oh, what, <laughs> what just happened? Oh, I'm going to need more ender pearls now. I don't, my mouse button just got stuck. <laughs> All right, whatever. We'll just come up here and look at it. So here's the tree and it's not, it's not super big. I didn't want it to be really big, but um, now we got to get, you can see I got the redstone light lit up and I didn't do anything fancy here. This is extremely simple. And um, I don't know if it's going to be stable for a server in a server reset. If it's not stable in a server reset, I'll use, I think there's a uh, silent um, hopper timer that I can use. But uh, I just figured I'd just do something simple for now. Um, if it doesn't work, like I said, we'll fix it. But um, now we got to get ornaments on there. All right. So now you can kind of see. Pardon me. Let me get some stuff on my thingy. You can kind of see what we're going for. We got some more of the twinkle going on. Now we might make this permanent at the top. It might be uh, permanently lit. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it. But what we got to do now is get down inside of here. And the zombie situation is like out of control. Like... I gotta say, it's not one of my favorite changes that's been implemented. Um, makes it just really difficult. It's it's just a pain more than anything. Um, so I got some dirt that I laid this these out on. I just need to remove this stuff. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use other branches inside of here to run the wiring. Um, and then we will uh, see like off of here, we would wanna put branches on each side like so. And I'm probably gonna end up needing some ladders, but this it this will be this is always a bit of an intense piece, uh, kind of an intense thing trying to get the wiring where I want it to go. Um, it was last time I built the tree; it was really tough. So we're gonna kind of mess around with our branches like so, and uh, get some redstone hooked up, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. We are in the tree. So let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna fall, ugh. So the wiring was a little intense, little intense. And we'll take, I'll take you up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So in each level, I'm just adding kind of random branches and random, uh, let's pull some of this stuff out. Random redstone. Um, 
and just kind of random. You just do it in a super random fashion. Oh, that's broken. So we'll get that fixed up. So uh, we can actually pull these out too. And so now I can't get up any higher and I have to actually go over to the other side. So I can't really show you what's up there. But um, yeah, let's go take a look. I haven't looked at it yet. I really don't know what it looks like. So let's go ahead and head out and take a look at it from the outside in the rain. Thanks, Notch. It's raining because Notch hates Christmas. So let's see. Look at them all light up. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, wait. Those aren't working right there. Ugh, crap. So other than that, I think it looks great. I love the look of it. I think that's really great. And I like it to be, see, I don't know. I'm really simple. Like some people you could use like uh, cobwebs um, as garland if you wanted. But I do have a level that's not lighting up. So that's not good. Also, is it night? Ugh, God, the rain. So I got to get up there and get that level lit up. That ain't, let's see. Can we just go like this and see what's going on? Did I just not do it? Let's just go ahead and just break in. All right, that's why it's not lit up. Because I didn't light it up. So this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be really a tough one. You know what we'll probably end up having to do is get rid of those like that. And we'll have to do it, even though I kind of don't, I think it'd be cooler if it was more random. Um, with this one, we're just going to tear these right out. Oh, F. Oh, F. Oh, F. Oh, everything's breaking. Oh, come on. Get me up there. Please work. Please work. Oh, thank you. All right. Take this guy out. And then we'll add one in there. One in there. You know what? I'm going to need to. Oh, my. OMGs. This is really difficult. All right. I'm going to try to get this lit up and I'll be right back. Ugh, look at that. Amazing. All right. So there we go. I think it's cool. Just a simple Christmas tree. Nothing crazy, nothing humongous, just something simple and uh, a place to leave gifts for your fellow hermits. And I think we're just going to, right here, put a little sign that says, a simple Christmas cross mass, a simple Christmas tree. Leave your gifts for other hermits. <sighs> hermits. No, I can type. A simple Christmas tree. Leave your gifts for other hermits here. So, yeah, I thought maybe, may I don't know if people are going to partake. I don't know if people are going to give gifts, but... I thought it'd be cool if we built a Christmas tree, showed you guys a little bit. Maybe you could get kind of tutorial-ish of how I did it. Uh, at the very least, you can take a screenshot right now and then reproduce it if you want to. But um, yeah, so so that's it. We have a few more days before Christmas comes, and now we have a place to leave our gifts. I'd like to start getting some gifts together for some of the other hermits myself. Um, I think it would be cool. I don't know. It's hard to get people gifts sometimes. Um, some guys, I know what they need. Um, you know, like I could give... I don't know, Hypno's got his diamonds now, but um, maybe I could go help him to harvest us or excavate some of the land. Or, you know, if you watch videos, you can kind of see what the other guys need for gifts. But except for Suzuma, what do you get for the man who has everything? I don't know. Maybe we'll build him something crazy. But um, I don't know if we'll have time. Um, but, yeah, this Thursday, I'm pretty sure we're going to be hanging out with Pungents, doing some avocaming for the tournament, which is rad. And, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks very much for watching. If you like the tree, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.